daily blog post. It's Scott Jordan. Uh, I'm the CEO of Scotty Vest. Living here in Sun Valley, Idaho is unbelievably gorgeous. And every afternoon, you know, we try to leave in the wintertime and walk down this road called Trail Creek, which is just surrounded by just natural beauty. And there's Bald Mountain in the back. Um, and uh, we just walk down this pathway, we sort of regroup on, oh, there's Lucy and her crazy spins. Um, what happened that, that day? And, um, you know, sort of unwind a little bit. Usually uh, respond to emails on this walk. Uh, and uh, get to meet all the dogs and the dog owners. So this tape is good. So uh, what follows it is basically a collection of uh, uh, attempts to get Lucy to twirl, uh, slightly edited, interspersed with other crazy dogs like Margo. And here's twirl, good twirl. Another twirl, please, for the camera. Come on, Luce, come on. For the camera, a little twirl. Let's have a twirl. Yeah, good girl, good girl, crazy. Good twirl, do it again. Come on, Margo. She is fast and crazy, like I said. <laughs> Lucy, are you gonna twirl? Twirl for the camera. There you go, twirl. See, twirl. Good twirl. Again, again. You're not getting into super crazy twirl, are you? Come on, let's have a twirl. Oh, good, good. Hey, Luce, twirl? Good twirl. No twirl, no frisbee. No twirl, come on, ah, there you go. Come on, more, yeah, yeah. Good twirl, good twirl, keep going. Twirl? Lucy, can you show us the twirl? Can you show, is it gonna show us the twirl? Show us the twirl again. Want the frisbee? Yeah, yeah. Do you want the frisbee? Are you listening to me? She's being hunted, she won't pass. There she goes! And there's the kill! <laughs> there's crazy Margo. Yeah! Go get her, Chloe! Good girl! Yeah, dog fighting is legal here in Idaho. I'm kidding, obviously, they are playing. Actually, dog fighting was legal in Idaho until recently. Uh, bye, Ray! Margo, are you a crazy Margo? Crazy Margo? Who's crazy Margo? Hey, Luz, ready? Oh, good twirl, good twirl. Pointing to our friend Ray, uh, uh, mother of Zeke. Okay what we did for April Fool's Day about two and a half or two, I don't know, three years ago or something like that. Put out this press release saying uh, that was just hilarious and I'll, I'll post a link to it. And it was actually picked up by some various news sources that um, said Jordan Enterprises acquires Scotty Vest in an all stock deal valued at $150 million or something like that. And it went on to just be a complete, you know, mockery. And uh, yet, uh, people read it and reposted it as factual. It was quite entertaining. Um, one of the things I may do is, is just start talking about some of the history of Scotty Vest. You know, like when IBM sued us over the little E and Scotty Vest which also Scott USA did as well. It's like the world's most expensive E. And uh, got some publicity associated with that. So it's all kind of entertaining uh, on some level. So I'll post that press release up. It refers to Rebecca Scott. And maybe I'll even read it separately. Rebecca Scott, who was our Playmate model, who was uh, the CEO of the company. And our dog, Kelly a Doggy, I think was involved only to, to end in the last line with a, a, a reference to April Fool's Day. Uh, so uh, let me think about some other things like that and uh, you might find it entertaining or perhaps not. <laughs> I got pictures of Mark going crazy. So this is the, the time at every Scotty Vest uh, longer video where we talk about the Scotty Vest products for a moment. <laughs> Uh, just kidding. So um, what I'm wearing is the Scotty Vest Quantum uh, jacket, uh, which is waterproof and breathable. It's a great ski jacket. 
Uh, very, very comfortable. Magnetic closures, tons of hidden pockets and features. Uh, don't let the orange glow of the motorcycle uh, prototype or jacket uh, disturb you. you know, just all the things you come to expect. Plus, a lot of people don't know what this is. It's a powder skirt, and it's removable, and you can put it like this. And actually, it's really quite helpful, not only for skiing, and the intention is you go into a big uh, uh, thing of snow, which fortunately we have here now. Um, it won't get up and... Uh, and make you cold, but you can take that off, and it keeps you warm in, otherwise in the winter time too. So, <laughs> this is the the Scotty Vest Quantum, uh, and it's 250 bucks, and that's all I got to say about the Quantum for now. So this is uh, the bus. I'm gonna take the Burning Man next year, and uh, maybe a better picture. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? This is Scott Jordan, uh, concluding my long weekend blog post, which started out. Uh, on Tuesday afternoon walking the dogs and ends on Sunday afternoon walking the dogs as well. We brought in a, uh, another dog, a neighbor dog, uh, the big one uh, behind Lucy is named Trooper. And uh, it was a great weekend. As you can tell, we got dumped on with a lot of snow here. And uh, just awesome skiing, awesome time had by all. It was great not working. I apologize for the lack of consecutive blog posts, but uh, hopefully this will make up for it. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and uh, Hanukkah and is looking forward to a healthy and happy New Year. Lucy, let's see if you can catch this for the camera. Ah, uh, not so lucky. So, this is our house uh, over here. It has a fence that's pretty much covered. Can, we're just getting started for the season. Chloe in the big mouth. Uh, we expect it to get even more. All right, Luke. So to give you a little perspective, that right there is a ski mountain. So you can see right behind us. And if you walk just up that street, make a right, you're on the ski mountain. It takes about seven minutes to walk at most. Um, and we have a ski pass, so we get out as often as we can. Uh, if it keeps snowing like this, it'll be more often than not, which is good. Oh, yeah. All right, Scotty. Bye bye. Let's do something sometime. I'm up for it. That's crazy Margo again. Ah, the puppy. Yeah, Margo. Yeah, neighbor poodle. It is so unbelievably gorgeous here. So this is, you know, coming down our street from the other side, and uh, people just let their dogs out, hang out. Good twirl. So uh, I made a little moat around our house, as you can see. It's hard to tell, but hey, Lucy. So the poodle could otherwise just jump right over the fence if it was uh, accessible. So the dogs just go all the way around. This moat goes around our house, and they have no idea yet. There's Chloe that uh, they can jump over it. So it's. Just my way of keeping some sanity here. Otherwise, they wouldn't even, they'd be kind of scared, wouldn't, wouldn't know that uh, they can go outside. So there's my office. Here's my hot tub. This is my version of cribs. Uh, so I set the hot tub up. It's actually kind of cool. I have a TV, a computer screen right there. And I turn that around and sit in the hot tub and watch sports or political shows or whatever it is I watch. So, And there's Lucy walking down the moat. And fortunate because our neighbors haven't built so up their house. So uh, this is Scott signing off on an awesome weekend. Out of here. I just got a peek at my hair. Lovely. This is uh, Scott signing off for the weekend, saying uh, 
I'm out of here. Take care.